السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پریلیمنری لسٹ آف اسپائرنگ کینڈیڈیٹس فار جنرل الیکشنز ول بی پبلش ٹوڈے آفٹر ایکسپائری آف ڈیڈ لائن فار فائلنگ نامینیشن پیپرز Prime Minister has formed a committee under Law Minister to smoothen process of FATA's merger with Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Chief Justice of Pakistan has ordered restoration of CNIC and passport of former President Pervez Musharraf to enable him to return to Pakistan and face cases. AJK President has strongly condemned martyrdom of innocent Kashmiris by Indian occupation forces in Kupwara district. The United Nations says more than 9,20,000 people were displaced inside Syria during the first four months of the current year. And now the news in detail. The deadline for filing of nomination papers by aspiring candidates of general elections expired a short while ago. Earlier, the Election Commission extended the time for filing of nomination papers for two hours from 1,600 hours till 1,800 hours. The preliminary list of candidates will also be published today. Six-member caretaker Punjab cabinet took oath at a simple but impressive ceremony at Governor House in Lahore today. Governor Malik Mohammad Rafiq Rajwana administered the oath to the caretaker cabinet members. Prime Minister Nasrul Mulk has emphasized upon swift transition process in FATA to provide a sense of security to the people of the erstwhile tribal areas. Chairing a meeting to review progress on implementation of FATA reforms in Islamabad today, he stressed the need for addressing the important administrative, legal and financial issues in this regard. The meeting was briefed about various administrative, legal and financial issues that needed immediate attention to ensure smooth transition of the merger process after the passage of 25th Constitutional Amendment. It was informed that agencies and FRs have been redesignated as districts and subdivisions of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Similarly, the posts of political agents and assistant political agents have been redesignated as deputy commissioners and assistant commissioners. The meeting was informed about tax exemptions and other financial incentives provided to the people of Aswail, Fata and Parta for the next five years. A committee was also constituted under the chairmanship of Law Minister to formulate a strategy for removing bottlenecks and making the merger process seamless. Information Minister Sayyid Ali Zafar says the interim government will facilitate holding of transparent and timely elections. Talking to newsmen in Islamabad today, he said the caretaker government will perform its responsibility according to its constitutional mandate. The minister vowed to come up to people's expectations regarding the interim government's responsibilities. Chief Justice of Pakistan, Mia Saqib Nisar, has ordered to restore the CNIC and passport of former President General Retired Parvez Musharraf. Hearing a case regarding former President's return to Pakistan at Lahore Registry of Supreme Court today, he also ordered not to arrest Parvez Musharraf from airport on his return. The Chief Justice said that former President should return and face the court cases filed against him. He ordered to set up a court in two days for a trial against General Retired Parvez Musharraf. Hearing another case, Supreme Court suspended the additional tax on the mobile phone cards. Justice Mia Saqib Nassar gave mobile phone companies two days to implement court's order. He also ordered to devise a comprehensive policy regarding tax on the mobile phone cards. Islamabad High Court has announced its judgment in MQM's convenership case declaring that Khalid Maqbul Siddiqui will stay as the party's convener. The court rejected the petition of Farooq Sattar on the matter. Meanwhile, a two-member bench of Islamabad High Court ordered arrest of former district and session judge Raja Khuram Ali Khan and his wife in Tayyabar torture case. The court also increased sentence of the former judge from one year to three years. Accountability Court Islamabad has adjourned the hearing of Al-Azizia reference case against former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and his family members till tomorrow. 
Judge Mohammad Bashir is hearing the case. Azerbaijan Ambassador Ali Zada met Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, matters of mutual interest, including regional peace and stability, were discussed. The ambassador acknowledged Pakistan Army's contributions towards regional peace and stability and expressed the desire that his country wishes to play a role towards a prosperous region. This is Radio Pakistan. Azad Kashmir President Sardar Masood Khan has strongly condemned martyrdom of innocent Kashmiris by Indian occupation forces in Kupwara yesterday. In a statement issued today, he said this is the worst act of state terrorism. AJK President said so-called search and operations and victimization of innocent Kashmiri youth have become routine practice in occupied Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, the All-Party Suryat Conference Chairman Sayyid Ali Gilani has expressed serious concern over the plight of illegally detained Huryat leaders and activists languishing in different jails, including the hard jail of India. Sayyid Ali Gilani, in a statement issued in Sirinagar, said that the puppet authorities were treating the political detainees inhumanly and keeping them with habitual criminals in jails. He said the authorities are using cheap tactics to break their resolve for freedom but they have miserably failed to force them into submission. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says Shanghai Cooperation Organization can contribute to improvement of relations between Pakistan and India. In an interview with China Global Television Network, he said, we know that there are existing and historical unresolved conflicts between the two countries. He said after joining of the SCO by both the countries, we can provide a better platform and opportunities for building of relations between them. In Afghanistan, at least 13 people were killed and 31 others wounded when a suicide attacker blew himself up outside a government ministry in Kabul today. Health ministry spokesman said the bombing happened as employees were leaving their offices early for Ramadan. Meanwhile, at least four gunmen were killed after they attacked the education department in Jalalabad today. Nangarhar governor's spokesman also said the security forces seized a vehicle loaded with explosives outside the education department after the attack. North Korean state media have expressed the possibility Pyongyang could establish a new relationship with the United States. It comes a day before North Korean leader Kim Jong-un meets U.S. President Donald Trump for historic talks. The comments mark a shift in tone from North Korea after decades of animosity towards the U.S. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has said that he has a good feeling about tomorrow's much-anticipated summit. The United Nations says more than 9,20,000 people were displaced inside Syria during the first four months of the current year, which is the highest level in the seven-year conflict. The UN Regional Humanitarian Coordinator for Syria told reporters in Geneva that the fresh displacement inside Syria brings the number of people internally displaced to 6.2 million. He said there are still some 5.6 million Syrian refugees in neighboring countries. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts, while very hot in Upper Sin during the next 12 hours. However, rain, thunder shower with gusty winds is expected at isolated places in Hazara Division, Kashmir, and its adjoining hilly areas. To end the news, here once again are the main points. <music> Preliminary lists of aspiring candidates for general elections will be published today after expiry of deadline for filing nomination papers. Prime Minister has formed a committee under Law Minister to smoothen process of Fatah's merger with Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. Chief Justice of Pakistan has ordered restoration of CNIC and passport of former President Pervez Musharraf to enable him to return to Pakistan and face cases. AJK President has strongly condemned martyrdom of innocent Kashmiris by Indian occupation forces in Kupwara district. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.